Hi, I'm Taylor Castillo, and you're watching the Viking Views. Missouri Valley College's Veterans Association and the ROTC Viking Detachment honored veterans today at an assembly on Thursday. The ceremony included a presentation of the colors by the Missouri Valley ROTC Viking Detachment, patriotic music by the MVC Choir, a salute by the Malta Bend American Legion Post Firing Squad, a reading and a reading by the veterans Scotty Campbell and Harry Carroll of What a Vet Is by Father Dennis Edward Scott. Movie galleries have closed down in small towns all around the country. Jessica Mars shows us just how it has affected the community. The economic decline in the United States has shown a lack of consumer demand in many things, such as movie galleries. People lost interest in these places after newer, cheaper ways to rent movies began to appear, such as Redbox and Netflix. Redbox kiosks can be found in many different places, including Walmart and McDonald's. Gage Wallerman shares his views on Redbox. It has its pros and cons. It's usually pretty accessible. It's really cheap. But a lot of times they don't really have the movies that you're looking for. With Netflix, you only have to fill out a quick information sheet on the website, and you only pay $7 a month. I mean, they have more variety. You can always get on. There's so many more. They have documentaries, you know, sports. They have the live streaming online, or you can get them shipped to your house. So if you are ever driving through town and want to rent a movie, head to the nearest Walmart or McDonald's. A photography showcase is being held this month at the Vern Nestor Gallery on the third floor of Beatty Hall. This 28 photo gallery features works from students in the Intro to Photography class as well as the Digital Imaging class. As we get closer and closer to the holiday season, we tend to forget about those organizations that need our help or just a sweet hand in showing that we care. Will Claggett has recently visited the local animal shelter to see what they are in need of. I'm here at the Marshall Animal Shelter located just north of town. You may not know it even exists unless your family cat or dog goes up messing. When we pick up an animal that is running stray, we bring them here to the shelter. Unless they wear um, uh, rabies tags that has like the veterinarian, I could possibly get in contact with the owner of the dog. But normally we just bring them here. They are held for seven days. And um, after the seven days, then the city owns them. And then that's when the Selene Animal League comes in effect and takes them. The Selene Animal League is a, an organization that is um, fully run by donations and volunteers. We come out to the animal shelter, we take care of the animals' health needs, and we work very hard to find homes for the animals is, is our main, main mission. The shelter has had 338 dogs, 154 puppies, 170 cats, and 187 kittens come to the shelter just this year. How do they take care of them, all you ask? Simply because of volunteering and donations. The volunteers is walking the animals, cleaning the animals, um, pretty much helping the, uh, the shelter assistant. We do need new young blood. It would be nice to have more volunteers. We have a meeting the second Tuesday of every month at 7 o'clock at the library here in town, which is open to the public. Anyone that is interested in knowing more or maybe getting involved, we would be more than happy to see them at our meetings. The Marshall Animal Shelter is run completely by the Marshall Police Department. The shelter actually encourages you to donate either by volunteering your time or by a cash donation. You can actually buy the Saline County Animal League's calendar with the money of $5 going straight to this animal shelter. I'm Will Claggett for Viking Views. The animal shelter is always looking for volunteers. If you'd like to donate, you can call the shelter at 660-831-0420. Now here's a look at Valley Sports with Ian Gray. Thanks, Taylor. The Missouri Valley men's soccer team traveled to Liberty, Missouri Saturday to play in the Heart of America Athletic Conference Championship game against William Jewell College. It was a tight game throughout as the Vikings came out on top in a double overtime victory, one to nothing. Vikings' next matchup is against Hastings College in the NAI National Championship opening round in Hastings, Nebraska. Saturday, November 20th at 1 p.m. The Missouri Valley College football team brought their regular season to a close with a 42-7 victory over Avila University on Saturday. Senior quarterback Chris White passed for 294 yards and threw for four touchdowns, while senior Daryl Madry caught six receptions for two touchdowns. The Vikings finished their season at 8-2. The Vikings women's basketball team beat McKendry University on Friday 67-65 to obtain their first win of the season. Cassandra Copeland had 18 points and two assists, while Shatea West also had 18 points and eight rebounds. The Lady Vikings record now stands at 1-3 overall. The Missouri Valley men's basketball team took on Hannibal LaGrange College Tuesday, November 9th at home. The Vikings came out on top, winning comfortably 77-64. to 
The Vikings defense held Hannibal LaGrange Trojans to a mere 32% from the field, while the Vikings shot 46%. Junior forward Anthony Jackson led the way for the Vikings, scoring 20 points and had 7 rebounds. Junior forward Cooper Trumbo also contributed with 16 points and 5 rebounds. The Vikings traveled to Huntington, Illinois Thursday and Friday to take part in the Huntington Classic, facing Notre Dame College Thursday and Huntington University Friday. The Vikings won against Notre Dame College 72-59 but lost to Huntington University 78-55. The Vikings look to rebound in their next game at home against William Penn University Monday, November 15th at 7.30 p.m. That's all for sports. Back to you, Taylor. The NBC Jazz concert took place in the Eccleston Maybe Theater last Sunday. NBC TV crews were there recording the events, which will be aired all throughout the Thanksgiving break. Now, I'm Taylor Castillo, and thanks for watching the Viking Views. Here's our calendar of events.